So this one is a plant dryer. So we are when we are in the forest, it's very important to have our plants dry. Otherwise, the, the, the plants are going to, to be in bad shape and it's not good. So it's, it's something that can be bad because all the work that we put for collecting plants is going to be to the price because the plants are going to be wet and they, they, it's going to be hard for uh, transport and for research. But right now, so here we have a, a, a plant press that we build. Uh, we are in Bioco, Equatorial uh, Guinea. And so we put aluminum, aluminum paper. Uh, so we are using a stock with kerosene. So that means that that thing is very, very, very hot. And uh, the plants are going to be dry in a couple days. And so that, that means that it's going to be a good board because we can bring to the United States our plants. And the next step that is the identification and deposit the plants in herbariums. So uh, I'm very excited to do that. So you preserve these plants for specimens for museums? Museums, yes. I, I'm going to deposit uh, the plants in four different museums. Mm -hmm. So Philadelphia is one, Q is the second, uh, Madrid is the third one, and the four specimen or duplicate is going to be for uh, Equatorial Guinea University. Okay. Yeah. What kind of plants do you have in I, there now? I have some meconias, uh, rubiace, uh, euphorbiace, uh, some labiades, uh, and some orchi uh, orchidaceae. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know exactly the, the genus now, so just I collect and I know the families. Mm -hmm. uh, but once I am in the, in the, US, in the US, I'm going to, to check with the other specimens I use in the keys, and I'm going to, to be ready to know genus and species, and probably if I, I find something new, so it's going to be very exciting.